What's up, YouTube? So, Bungie just dropped... Well, actually, it was uh, kind of Game Informer Bungie. I guess Game Informer dropped it, but Bungie gave it to him. But whatever. Anyways, they dropped a ton of info, and I briefly touched on the highlights in my last video. So, all this news and information begs the question, should we still level up our weapons and gear? This is really a super tricky question to answer. See, Bungie said that Year 1 weapons won't be upgradable going into the Taken King. And at E3, Deej himself said that they want you to try new weapons and gear and not stick or be stuck with the same stuff for the long haul, basically. So they're basically phasing out the older stuff and phasing in the new stuff to, you know, force you to, to try new things and whatever. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a great idea. I am all for it. But with that said, I'm going to miss my fate bringer. Basically, I honestly wouldn't bother leveling up anything that's not at least House of Wolves. You might as well dismantle the rest, or I suppose you could hold on to it in the small chance that you'll get like a shrine or something to encase your favorite weapons. But just don't be disappointed if it never shows up. But now that we know we can start letting go of some of these older weapons and start making room for new ones, should we actually do it? I know that sounds kind of weird, but Cosmo said, you know, don't go dismantling things just yet. Wait till the guys come back because they're going to be doing some Twitch reveals and you'll find out some more info soon. So that leads me to believe that there might be some type of, I don't know, maybe shrine system or like in the last video I was talking about, you might need that piece of gear for uh, to do transmorgification. So... I don't know. I guess if it's, you know, a piece of gear that you really, really like the look of. And basically, if it's a piece that you want your other pieces to look like, if you want to transmorg into that piece, keep it. If you really don't care, I would say go ahead and get rid of it. But that, that would be, you know, my, my best guess for you. I know going through this, it's going to be both exciting and scary. I just deleted one of my hunters last night, and I was going through my gear and figuring out what I really need, what I don't need, what, you know, like, oh, uh, do I need this? Do, you know, do I still want to keep this? Because I have two hunters, so I was trying to get the best gear over there, and, and it was really hard to delete some of that because I was like, I felt like it was mine, and I was like throwing it away or something. Like, uh, it, it took me a good hour just to figure it out and finally do it. Like, it, it was kind of scary, so. But either way, I'm really stoked for the Taken King and all the new changes, and I too will be standing at the vault debating on what I really want to dismantle, and you know, like I said, I almost shed a tear, and I'll probably do it again uh, once the time actually comes down to cleaning out my vault, because I have way too many weapons that I'll probably never use, so we'll see. I don't know. It's going to be rough, but with that said... I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or more info, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, until next time.